Greetings and salutations everyone, I'm Ekmac, this is Oxygen Not Included, and we're in trouble. So I... this is the thing about the game, even veterans can make mistakes if, it, if they aren't cautious, and something that I did, I added a ton of duplicates to the system without thinking about how much we can support. The thing is, we can't. One electrolyzer is supposed to be able to fuel for eight duplicants. So we have two electrolyzers and we have 19 duplicants. We just don't have the... It, these things, even though they're running full time, just aren't enough. Now that would be a great time to just give up, reset back to day one, and try from scratch again. But honestly... I think I want to just keep trying and see if I can get out of this problem. So here's the thing. We need to finish building the rebuild building the mirror to the original spawn. That's critical. But I crunch the numbers and this cool steam vent just can't supply enough water. I mean it definitely didn't help that we routed so much of it to the oil. But even so, it's just not going to be enough. So, we're going to do something rather interesting. I'm going to take the insulated pipes and run them all the way from the cool slush geyser. And then we're going to we run it all the way through. This is going to give us a massive igneous rock demand though, but ooh, we actually do have enough igneous rock. We're going to run a few uh, radiant pipes near this cool steam vent. That will hopefully keep it from freezing in the pipes. We use the cool steam vent to heat up the water. Then we run it through a water sieve and drop it down into this tank, or, hmm. I mean, we could just uh, put it into these pipes, and we probably should, but just in case it doesn't have enough room, we're going to start dumping it down into the tank. Basically, the overflow will go into the water tank. That will give us the water that we need to run more electrolyzers. Because, yeah, we just don't have enough to do the whole job. Eventually we're going to run out and we're going to still have problems with oxygen. So yeah, it's a jeopardy, but we might just be able to get out of it. The hydrogen build-up isn't helping, has to be said. It's amazing how suddenly everything can go so wrong at the same time. It's also unfortunate that out of all the hydrogen these guys produced, virtually none of it ended up here. How do you do these things, game? I say I installed some liquid sedimentary pipes to make up for not having any radiant ones. And I need to finish this off, build a uh, wash basin here, finish building down here, expand the room so that the shine bugs aren't too bothered by the amount of room they have to improve, so that we don't get cramped wild critters in this room.
if we do start struggling a lot, we have plenty of polluted water lakes around here, so we could always run that through a water sieve. But I think that the water that we still have here might just be enough to tide us over until we get the extension to this done. And in fact, maybe that's what we should prioritize. Question, does Stinklin have... It has lead. It's not a particularly good refined metal, but... We need every bit of refined metal we can get our hands on it to cut hot corners. Might just have to happen. We need to get our uh, algae supplies back again. It looks like we're just going to have to bite the bullet and make an algae distiller here. Oh, um... You are one level lower than I expected you to be. Whoops. You know what would really help? I feel like uh, stopping them from accessing these oxygen pipes would help, but... Mm.
Okay, wait. I don't know what all my builders are up to. You're on building job. You're on sleeping job. You're on downtime. Maybe I should give you a building digging priority. Five cycles before it comes back online again. We need to have. We. I'm pretty sure we don't have 35 cycles worth of oxygenatable water. Maybe I should have put a carbon skimmer way down here. So 200 grams for a second of algae. And these things produce... Hmm. So it doesn't actually produce enough to feed the algae completely, but... It'll at least give us a little bit more time. I'm just going to lay off skill points until I have something I actually need to do. We have the lead ready to ship. Uh, actually, wait, do they have an overheat tent? They do. We can't just make it out of copper ore. It has to be something nice like gold amalgam.
Alright, here's my idea here. Run the radiant pipes all through the place, but only allow it to start shipping the... Um, only allow it to start shipping water through if it is a safe temperature that it's not going to freeze immediately. Uh, Quinn, where did you rest that was too bright? Right, that would be the place where you rested this too bright. Let's give this seat to Abe. And this can be Quinn. That way Abe isn't going to be running past that and waking anyone up. Quinn is moving very slow because negative six athletics versus a skill level of one. I'm sure it'll be better later, but for now it's not. Checking high thermal conductivity, yeah, thermally reactive, excellent radiation shield. So there shouldn't be anything wrong with the sending as much lead through as possible. Aside from actually sending all the lead through, but that's just how it is. Joshua and Pei are at least delivering the rest of it. By all accounts, lead shouldn't be what we're using, but we are desperate for getting our oxygen back in order. BTW, this hot polluted oxygen vent, 500 degrees Celsius, we would not have the ability to deal with this, such hot polluted oxygen. Need to find something, um, we need to, we need to get the expansion to the SPOM underway.
You could always dig the carbon dioxide pit deeper. Ah, here's the problem. It's actually producing more polluted water than we're capable of getting rid of with a single thimble reed, so... We're gonna have to increase the number of uh, thimble reeds that we have over here. The thing about algae distilling is that it's... A long-term amount of uh, pea water use, followed by, like, it's a lot higher. It's not going to be running forever, but it's going to be running long enough to make everything awkward. Okay, Quinn. Suit sustainability, suit athletics, yeah, all that stuff. probably won't plant in it, you'll just wait for us to... yeah. Oh, you're the reason why all the soccer keeps getting dropped on the floor, aren't you? Cheeky little pipsqueak. Okay, we have all the lead. Now ship it over. We need more of the lead. Definitely not going to want any more duplicates with our oxygen is as poor a state as it is. I also switched the ranch back on because we are actually going to need that extra iron. More fine metal to get everything done. And maybe finish this part, just so it starts pumping a little bit sooner. Hang on. Yeah, you're yodeling. That doesn't give you faster run speed. Just a bit higher strength. Which does actually counter those noodle arms of yours. How about that? This queen's favourite genre of mu music is festive power ballad. That makes sense.
I think we have enough lead over there so we can swap back to shipping over the diamond. The downside is that we act, even though this area is decently hot, or at least it was until we installed the temp shift plates, there's not an awful lot of atmosphere so it's still going to hang out about very cold around here. The cool slush that we piped down is still going to be quite frigid. Oxygen, we aren't at least, we're at least not in critical condition anymore, but we definitely can't focus on any other projects until we've gotten our hands on a proper Until we've gotten proper thingamy Where's my train of thought going? Mmm, and this carbon dioxide sink has actually gotten a bit out of sorts, unfortunately. Because we had lower pressure above it, the carbon dioxide started leaking upwards. When we start getting all the oxygen back again, then... Ooh. I did enable proximity good. <sighs> Gonna have to keep trucking along and getting our base back in order. This is what happens if you're not careful. Until next time guys, take care, we'll see you all around.